my name is Valerie Anderson. I work in conservation and that's why this is so important to me. So for the conservation map, conservation map to me is the data and its display that depicts the protection and management of the environment and natural resources. And conservation is the moral philosophy and movement focus on protecting species from extinction, maintaining and restoring habitat and enhancing ecosystem services and protecting biological diversity. So this is a natural fit for OSM because OSM is depicting space on a map, land, and you know protected land area is required to protect species from extinction. So what do I consider part of the data that I add to the map and that I try and keep track of to see how well Florida is doing on conservation mapping with an OSM? So for me, the top priority is mapping the protected areas. So an accurate boundary, so you know when you're on and off the protected area, having official historical and local names. Uh, areas with multiple tracks are within a relation and they're named appropriately. So for example, the Withlacoochee National Forest and then the citrus tract of the Withlacoochee National Forest. Um, an area manager, so people know who uh, operates the property, which may or may not be a proxy for how well the, the place is managed. In Florida, it, it is much more a uh, proxy of how much this, how well a place is managed with prescribed fire, for example, um, and then access. So for example, there are a lot of conservation areas in Florida that are private now. They're under conservation easement. They're still privately managed land, but they are protected and um, their protection status is curated by the state of Florida. Okay, so for me, lower priority data is are you on the property? Are you allowed on the property? How do you get on the property? So for example, we'll, we'll talk a bit later about the Florida Trail. Um, so, you know, is the Florida Trail on the property? Are there other trails on the property? Um, can you walk on them? Can you bicycle? Um, where do you park? Fences and gates and access. Um, and probably the least represented data within the Florida map is land cover. And we did, there is a hydro, hydrography, hydrology, hydro, hydrography import for some streams, lakes, and rivers, and some wetlands, but not, it does not have good coverage throughout Florida. And you'll see if there's any large areas that are mapped, it's usually, say, a national forest or a state forest, and someone has taken the entire boundary and classified it as forest or wood, which is not accurate at all. <laughs> but it does look better on the map. Um, and for uplands, because you know I have a background in conservation, um, I map flatwood, scrubby flatwood, scrub, sand hill, dry prairie, et cetera, which may tell some people what um, ecosystems, like what rare plants they might find or what rare animals they might find on the site. And then of course you can go finely grained with individual natural features. Trees, sinks, or sinkholes, springs, viewpoints, and nesting areas. Okay, so why map these in OSM in Florida? So for me, these, this is a potential point of first notification, these natural fe features and conservation areas exist. And regulations in Florida make it very difficult to profit from ecotourism using state-held conservation land. And so therefore we just don't have a lot of guided hikes by ecologists. Um, local communities valuing their natural resources and conservation land is frequently the only way that these resources and lands stay conserved. And Florida, until 2008, had the U.S.'s best state-run land protection program, previously called Preservation 2000, sorry for the typo, and is now Florida forever and is basically defunded. So a case study that I participated in slash run, it ran, is the Split Oak Forest case study. For my master's thesis on Split Oak, and they, the Central Florida Expressway Authority proposed a toll road through it. So there was minimal public awareness of this wilderness park. Um, public officials assumed there would be minimal outcry and that public opposition could be easily out overcome. So I started leading hikes, documenting natural communities, and I ran a mapping day to get all of the trails and trail markers mapped. And you can see that a lot of everybody wanted to mark the arrows because this park is not very well um, marked. And so sometimes these, these little arrows and markers and numbers are the only way to navigate when you're on site if you don't have a map available. And so you can see the blue is in the middle of this project, they actually routed the Florida Trail through Split Oak. So that was excellent. And now, as you can see, it is shown on the hiking, biking, waymark trails map. And then finally, we also tried political approaches where we submitted a charter amendment to the charter of Orange County, Florida to protect Split Oak from any of its legal protections being weak weakened. It went before the voters in November, 2020, and we won by 86%. Okay, so the state of the Florida conservation area boundaries. So 
I have this Florida managed areas data set, which I don't know the status of its, its copyright, so I don't use it to bring in stuff. Um, I, I generally go into the parcel data if I need to do that uh, because those are public domain. Um, so here's the panhandle. Uh, you can see that, you know, Avon Park Air Force Base, um, Blackwater River State Forest. Anyways, there are a lot of gaps, particularly in rural areas. Um, here is north, north central Florida. Lots and lots and lots of gaps. Uh, just these boundaries are not in there. Central Florida, I have been doing a lot of mapping, so things are a little better. A lot of the wetlands, I've been working heavily. You see in the, the center left is Green Swamp, which I've been adding a lot recently. And then South Florida uh, is, is fairly good. Okay, state of the trails. So we have both national and local trails. Uh, this is the Florida OSM wiki. So there, we have two national trails in Florida, Florida National Scenic Trail and the East Coast Greenway. We have regional state trails, and this is not a complete list. And then here are some of the local trails that, that I have looked at but not worked on. Uh, I would say the main focus of any upcoming trail mapping activity, and for me specifically, is going to be the Florida National Scenic Trail, making sure it's complete. You can see on the left, this is the map from the Florida Trail Association, the citizen support organization for the Florida Trail, and on the right is the Waymarks Trail map for Florida. So a lot of work to do. Thank you.